Hello and welcome, Paul here, and this is Mountain Blade Warband. Now, I'm just just quickly stopped at a uh, city. I needed to make well, I didn't need to. I needed food for my uh, army, but they happen to be holding a tournament here. I figured I'd enter it, make a bit more cash. Not that I need any more cash, but uh, never going to turn it up. Turn my nose up at it. So let me just uh, quickly dispatch these guys. Kind of like this horseback fight when it's just like two people. When you get a lot more, that's not as much fun. This guy's a tough nut. There we go. Hired blade. Oh no, you dance and shine. There we go. Oh, Nizar. <laughs> Sorry about that, mate. Okay, oh, it's me on that. Oh, I'm a horseback archer. Oh, this is the slow one. These are the arrows that do bugger all damage. Three body shots to actually knock someone out. Somehow got in behind. Oh, you're going to get that, matey. Oh, hello. That's just a little bit ridiculous. Pretty sure the arrows are going through him there. There you go. Is that a win or do we still have more? I wonder if I can get in with the... Oh, we already won. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get this done. I'm going to quickly visit a city after this tournament so I can get some food. Then we're going to go back to uh, sieging the cities and wipe out the Vagias. Because we're very close now. It's just a case of, what, one, two, three cities, I think. And then, well, actually four if I go into the Nord Territory. I'm hoping the Nords will cap that back, but if they don't, I'm going to have to go do it myself. I imagine it might make the... The Nords come attack us because we're going to have some land that belongs to them, you know what I mean? But they've left us alone for quite a while, so who knows what will happen. It feels like an age since I last went to war with them. Come on! Okay. GG, yep, GG. Okay, well played. Now let's go ahead and fight the next round. Yeah, I don't like it when tournaments are like this, because it's not much of an entertaining fight for everyone, is it? It'd be cool if you just like stood in the middle and then they kept sending out uh, people to come fight you like you were doing a regular training arena. Or perhaps it's like similar to a battle royale where it's like 30 folks all in here just fighting it out and it's the last man standing. That'll be kind of interesting. Okay. So which round are we on? Oh, not this weapon. I don't have any other weapons, so I'm just gonna sit here and throw these spears at him, and he'll just take it. <laughs> oh God! Well, that was pretty anticlimactic, there. Okay, I want a bit of cash. Tell me they're giving me more food in the market. No, they haven't. We're gonna have to find somewhere else to go. So where shall we go? Oh, error! The game. <laughs> What's going on? There we go, it's all fixed. Wonderful. Now we need food, so where should I go? Like, can I buy any food from the villages? Because we're losing morale here, that's not good. Whoa! Okay, how long will that last? So this is one of those things where I went to war with the Rodox before, or was it the Vegas? I'm 
no, not the Vagirs, the uh, Kurgits, where a border dispute has broken out and you can act upon it like I could go to war with the Rodox, it would be real easy to do that. But if I don't, then I lose standing with my lords, so that's not a good eye. Good idea. Hmm. What to do? That's a that's tricky. That's tricky. Oh, we took Kundan. Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought that we were still busy sieging here, and we never actually took it. But I guess we did. <laughs> Taken so many places recently. Okay, then I think what we need to do. Maybe I could go attack Rivercheg. That would just leave. Okay, they still have castles there. I do need food. Alright, I'm going to roll back to Ichimur because I can recruit people along the way. And then what we'll do. There we go, we'll take a bit of pork. Take a bit of butter. Any rotten food yet? Not yet. And we'll head to, yeah, we'll head to Echimo, we'll stock up on food. Now the question is, do I continue to push the Vegas and hopefully wipe them out, or do I go and attack the Rodox and start working on them? While I've been given this opportunity to, you know, start this. I'm not sure. It's tricky. Hmm. I think for the moment I should keep pushing the Vegas because they've got what two cities left. It's just a matter of time now. I mean how many troops do I have with me? Not as many as I'd have liked, but we still have quite a lot here. Maybe I could go check out River Check and just see who's uh who's there. Because, I mean, if I can just keep up the attack, keep up the pressure, as long as I've got troops behind me, I could keep attacking these places and we'd soon, we'd soon have them, you know, we'd soon have the Vegas wiped out, then I could focus my full attention on the Rodox, but I need to act, I need to do all this before the, before it expires, because if I do not act upon what the Rodox have done to that border town and declare war upon them, then eventually it goes away. It's like a quest but it doesn't show up. And it will go and then I'm going to lose some relation with my lords. Not to mention possibly villages and yeah it just doesn't work out but if I declare war upon them too early while I'm still fighting the Vagirs then I'll be fighting you know like a, a two-sided war here so uh, a two-way two-faced war so that's not a good idea. I only got 200 here. I believe this was the place we actually started to siege. We'll build a siege, uh, siege tower. So yeah, this is actually good. I was mixing up my towns here. But um, it's only got 240 odd defenders. It's still a lot and they can still do a lot of damage to me. But um, we should be able to take this. If we, if we can take Rivercheg, then we can go after Ray Vaden here. And that's going to be the tough fight because I mean that has the king there who has like 200 troops he's probably got all of his other lords now and the castle itself is garrisoned by 400 troops so you know it's uh, that's a lot and then it'll just be Tyr and uh, Chelbit castle which shouldn't be too bad I hope but who knows like I said I hope by then the Nords will get off their asses and get in the gear and take that stuff back but uh, I'm not going to hold my breath on that Alright, let's do this. Now, I'm going to try and be a bit smarter and not get knocked out straight away. Because that does get a little bit tiresome. Let's get everyone in position. My guys will give me a bit of cover there so I can take these guys out. The archers on the left. Oh, 
Oh, you. There we go. He's down. Who else? March is doing pretty good today. Having uh, a little bit of rest must have helped him. Still more to take out. What does it feel like this changes every time I come attack? It's just me though. That was a bit close. A bit too close. Okay, how many more archers are there? I've got to take them all out. Before we get up those steps. The hardest part is going to be once we're on the battlements because we're going to be facing. Oh, that's right, they spawn on the right hand side, so I want to get up and on the left. Then we have to be careful because any archers on the ground will tear us up. Because my guys will be exposed. Is this the one where I can jump over? But I don't have much room, so I'm not going to try it. I've learnt my lesson. Let me get back in the centre. Keep my shield up. Don't want any straight arrows managing to hit me somehow. Homing arrows. Come on, lads, get up. Right, yeah, we've come to a full stop just because of these Vagir guards, but they're tough as nails. And this castle is just a right pain to uh, I mean, it's close enough to get the siege tower. You don't have to go a massive distance, but this little bit to get in is just a tiny. Maybe I should try and jump over on the left. It might be more helpful to my, to my guys if I do that. But do I even have to do that? Can I just jump straight up into the battlements without having to try and get through that gap? I'm trying to think until I can get closer. Come on, lads. Nope. Come on, let's try that. Oh, I missed. That was stupid. Oh, gotta get up there before I do. No, 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 no. Remember that little speech of not doing anything stupid? <laughs> Me neither. Right, maybe I should just stick a few arrows in there. Yeah. Yes, it's a right bucket. I want to say we're pushing forward, but we're not. The Lord's up front now, they're doing a grand old job. Doing a lot of damage to the enemy. Maybe we should pull everyone back. So no room to swing a, swing a cat up here, let alone a, an axe or a sword. We seem to be getting a few kills and it looks like my guys are pushing in but very slowly. But enemy on the right hand side there, I can throw shots at him though. Come on guys, keep it up, keep it up. As soon as we're up though man, it's game over for them. No! You fool. You step back at the worst possible time. change of plans because we're not making any ground here. Everyone needs to follow me. <laughs> so there's a lot of shuffling going on. No one's falling though. Kudos to them. <laughs> oh no. Oh that will work. Hey I'm up here. Oh no, I can't aim for anything though. Come on, let me get to the back, let me get to the back. No, no, not the side, not the side. Come on, the back there, the back. Go, go, go. Oh, bugger. Okay, guys, seriously. Oh, the move maybe we'll be able to get down. I was hoping to get back, but...
Everyone can retreat. I like how I say retreat, they all run forward. Oh, you sods. That was a stupid bit of damage. We need room to get up, but... I should be able to issue, you know, issue smarter orders. Because they'll just get stuck up there, what's the point? Okay, first of all, archers on the right. Okay, infantry, charge, cavalry, charge. And I'm hit with an arrow. That's fair play. See, that annoys the hell out of me because there's nothing we can do here. There's no way to make this go any quicker because there's no way on the ground for my archers to hit them up on the battlements. And I can't brute force my way up there with my troops because they just come to a full stop because it's a tiny, tiny slit to get through. That would probably be the, This must be the hardest place to attack or possibly the easiest place to defend because it's such a trickle where they come in at, you know, it's oh, that's bloody stupid. The only way we're going to get up there is if I can do something about it, if I can get up there, get on the battlements, get behind the enemy and just destroy them quickly so my guys can get on, then yeah, no problem, but if we keep, you know, buggering around like this, we're never going to get anywhere. No, no, come on. There must be some way of doing this. Some way, some smart way. So what we'll do, I'm going to try that again. I'm going to take out all the archers on the battlements, but I'm going to go up. See if I can make that, because if I can make that jump and get up there, I'll send all my allies up there, you know. I did that jump first time. I've done it twice now. With ease, but when I really need to do it, I always bugger it up and fall. Good thing is, I wait two days and I've got all my health back. There we go, we'll get everyone in position. Take out some of these archers. A lot of archers this time. But either way, regardless of how many times we do this, we are always grinding the enemy down. They can't get reinforcements, we can. Yeah, a lot of archers today. What's up with that? Anyone left? arrows. No trouble. If anything I can just go up and uh, shoot the guards because they have no shield so and wear them out that way rather than trying to actually go up. I think that might be a smart, a smart move. I got my honor guard there, I'll let him go up. Give a little bit of cover while I come up and try to get my while I take out the enemy marksman. There he is. Go on lads. Take them out this way. If only I had more 
embarrassed by that before. Oh, you sneaky bloody archer. I was hoping to be up here before they came, but... Oh, where'd that come from? Where the hell do they come from? Oh, right, they spawn there, don't they? Bugger. Again, stupid, bloody thing to do. Let's have a look. They only got 130 left. I've got troops to upgrade. We'll just keep throwing ourselves at it until we take it. I realise it's not the most smart way to do it, but I don't have much choice at the moment. That's just a stupid... I mean, while I could go there and stand back, the thing is, if I go up top and just take the shots myself to take out the enemy, we're going to do more damage to them than me throwing my troops up against the uh, the wall there to try and get on. If anyone's got a better solution, you're welcome to share it with me, but I really don't see how else I could do this. Unless I go back and uh, train up certain types of troops, but you know what, I don't have that time because I'm trying to wipe out the Vagir so I can quickly declare war on the Rodox and jump in it with them. So I mean, there's no other way around it as far as I can tell. Let's go ahead and just stop building this. A little bit of a news update. The Vegas and Rodox have made peace. That doesn't seem good for me because that could mean the Rodox want to pursue war with me. And the Vegas, well, that's one less worry they have to worry about. So we have to take River Chegger this time. I'm confident we can. It just means I really have to keep an eye out for all the enemy archers and stuff. But let's do this. This time we shall take it. There's no problem, you can never see where all these arrows are coming from, so if you play an archer it must be a right pain, although I suppose I could always stand further back. But, um, no, this works. There we go, taking lives like a champ. But we know that's the easy part. It'll get much harder here soon. I need to stop rushing my shots because I keep missing. What I'm going to do this time is when I go up, I tried to do it last time but it didn't quite work out as planned, is we have all the troops behind me ready to uh, charge. And then what will happen is what will happen is when I've taken out enough of them on the battlements to make it a bit clearer to charge, we can actually do it. But, um, any more arrows I could quickly grab? I'll need a few more before I do this. So the problem is, you kill so many, reinforcements will come. If I can kill just enough to weaken it and send my infantry forward, then we should be able to get a foothold on there. But I mean, that's easier said than done because what looks like a small amount is actually quite a lot and then before you know it you've got more reinforcements turning up. Let's get that ready. Good job, good job on taking him out. I 
don't want to stick my head up too much. Okay, let's try this. Infantry. Charge. And we, of course we've got a guy on the shield up, up front. Just follow me for now. down that side so I'm not gonna do anything stupid like hang around here. I'm gonna rush around, get to the other side and uh, yeah hopefully we can do this. The only bad thing that might happen is that we run out of infantry and we just stuck with archers down at the bottom there. But you know what, I'll deal with that when we get to it. I haven't seen any reinforcements yet so that might be a good sign. Any arrows here I could grab? Nope. Okay, that's reinforcements. Gotta watch out for any arrows coming overhead. It's gonna be the, uh, the bad thing. what I wanted to do all along, just to clear the way for my guys to get up before the enemy blocks it. That's it lads, up. Come on. Now they're blocking me. <laughs> See, I'd probably be better to do more damage, but... If I could just pick up some arrows, I'd be able to do a quite a bit more damage from afar, but I think this is the last lot, to be honest. Because I haven't seen any range loaded up the back there. I'm surprised none of these archers are killed properly. So 
Sorry for all bobbing up and down, which is the best way to do an insta hit, insta kill, just by doing an overhead. Overhead swim. At least on these heavier opponents. But it looks like this is the last lot. Just gotta make sure I don't get knocked out. Oh dear lord, finally! <laughs> yes, you're best to run, mate. And down he goes. Oh, dear lord, that was a fight. We lost a lot of people siege in this place. Now, do we have to push him back at all, or...? I think that was it, I think that was, that was it. So, okay, that's good. I'm going to hire these folk, rebuild my warband a little bit. I'm going to give this castle, to, uh, this city, to Lord Aum because he's getting a bit, a bit miffed. And then I think we're going to turn our sights to the next Vagir city, which is remaining here. And the only problem with that is I don't know how well that's going to go because, troop, you know, I mean, look at it. This only had half the amount of defenders as what the other place had, so... Actually, no, I'll tell a lie. Tell a lie. This actually had 400 uh, to begin with, 400 garrison, so we might be able to do this. I need to go get food, though. Lord Aeon, where are you? He's already got a town, but... I've got to cheer him up somehow. He's gone up to 58, that's pretty good, okay. Borcher, I've got to do something with Borcher, I don't know what yet. I'll work it out though. Got some rotten pork there, we can get rid of that. We still need more food. Okay, so river check is ours, that is good. It just leaves us with this. That's going to be the fight, the big fight. I don't think there's going to be many over here in Tyr or Chalbeck, but um, we'll soon find out. Anyway, that's it for now. Hope you've enjoyed it. Join me next time.